Robbery, no stranger to the law, has an extensive rap sheet beginning with the murder of 26-year-old Mark Gardner in October 2006. Despite turning himself in and later being charged with murder, Lopez was acquitted four years later when Gardner's brother refused to testify. His run-ins with the law would only continue. In July 2011, along with Keon Francis, robbery was shot while seated inside a vehicle on Nurse Finley Crescent. Well, them there, when me boss murder case. Well, them there, when me vlog down the place. Well, them there, when man a bone purple ears. Hey, boy, are your life you are with? Yo, I mean, countryman. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification button. Boy, that you to assault. Him <laughs> name robbery. And this youth right here. He is a member of the George Street Gang and him form a break-off shoot. Them they done kill the head of the George Street Gang, Mr. Willis, and him a war with some other set of youth and keep on getting in trouble, keep on doing all sorts of things till the man them program him and wet him up when him go buy some food. Why am I doing this video? I do this video for highlight what's going on in Belize because a lot of people might think Belize is somewhere to go vacation and demand them backwards. No. Belize is just like Jamaica. The people them even sound like Jamaicans. And it's amazing to how uncanny Belizean and Jamaicans are and the, the same set of stuff we do so them kill robbery them assassinate robbery <laughs> and with a name like robbery that tell you exactly what he means he means a damn thief and that's how it is down there in Belize my name is Countryman watch the rest of this video and leave your comment Drop a comment and share it. We want to bring this thing up to 5,000 subscribers. And check out the WhatsApp group. Peace. On Saturday night around 10.30, a burst of gunfire mortally wounded 28-year-old Karim Lopez. He had just purchased food at a business on Central American Boulevard and was returning to his vehicle when he was viciously cut down. Known to many as robbery, the recognized George Street affiliate had just left his residence on Jane Usher Boulevard when he was accosted by unidentified assailants. Lopez was shot multiple times and left for dead. At approximately 10.20 p.m., uh, police visited an area near to a fast food establishment on Central American Boulevard where they saw the body of 28-year-old Kareem Frederick Lopez, also known as Robbery, lying on the boulevard with multiple gunshot wounds to the body. Initial investigations revealed that he drove up to that establishment in his vehicle and as he came out of his vehicle he was approached by a group of men who fired several shots at him causing the fatal injury. According to the businesswoman who spoke with us off record, the fusillade sent everyone in the vicinity running for cover. When the smoke cleared, a fatally injured Lopez lay bleeding profusely. Superintendent Hilberto Romero, officer in charge of CIB Eastern Division. We have one person in custody. We are continuing the investigation. We are recording several statements, uh, conducting interviews. And if at the end of the investigation there is sufficient evidence, then we will be able to charge that person that is in custody. We have one person in custody at this time for that moment. Robbery, no stranger to the law, has an extensive rap sheet beginning with the murder of 26-year-old Mark Gardner in October 2006. Despite turning himself in and later being charged with murder, Lopez was acquitted four years later when Gardner's brother refused to testify. His run-ins with the law would only continue. In July 2011, along with Keon Francis, robbery was shot while seated inside a vehicle on Nurse Finley Crescent. The motive for that shooting was believed to be internal strife within the Gill Street gang, at the time an offshoot of George Street. 
Police responded to a scene a little after 7 p.m. last night at the corner of Nurse Finley Crescent. A little off Faber's Road, this is opposite the Excelsior School, the high school, where they saw Karim Lopez and Keon Francis suffering from several gunshot wounds to the body. Uh, initial investigation revealed that these men were walked, they walked from the basketball court to a car that was parked at that location where a lone gunman opened fire on them. Police recovered around 24 expended shells from the scene. We have a person in custody and um, Lopez is presently listed in critical condition at the Kalhoshna Memorial Hospital whilst Francis is in stable condition. The extent of their injuries, do you know? And, um, Lopez received several body shots, one to the left side of the chest, to the abdomen, and uh, other parts of the body. Sometime thereafter, Lopez migrated to the United States, but was deported after a brief stay. In July 2013, he was charged along with several others for failing to report to Belize City Police following his deportation. A year later, he would once again make headlines after discharging a firearm with reckless abandon on Carnival Day. That incident happened on Douglas Jones Street, and within minutes of the arraignment, he was detained pending the outcome of a murder investigation. His spate would go unabated through to November 25th, when he was charged with drug possession. Back on the scene of Saturday's deadly shooting, police press officer Rafael Martinez. Of course, he was transported to the Carl Huchner Memorial Hospital, where the body awaits a post-mortem. One man has been detained, but as I mentioned before, my colleague would be more than willing to oblige you with the details of that. The deceased was uh, no one calls to the police and we have several theories that we are following up on. I cannot say specific, specifically if that is the case, but like I said, we have several theories we are following up at this time. How is it gun related, sir? Is it, is it gun related? Well, he's a member of a notorious gang and that is one of the theories we are also following up on. News 5 approached several of Lopez's relatives for comment, however, they declined to speak on the murder. While reprisals are expected in the wake of the murder, police say all necessary measures are being put in place to thwart any retaliation. Several um, patrols are out in the city. We have uh, checkpoints. We have our intelligence people work on the ground. And, uh, the necessary steps are being taken to prevent any further escalation of violence. We had the murder this morning. Again, and we cannot be everywhere, but the patrols are, they are definitely uh, stepping up their, their, their work and searches. Reporting for News 5, I am Isan.